And finally, the South African Rand saw a slight increase in value on Monday, reflecting positive risk sentiment before the upcoming U.S. Federal Reserve policy decision. Trading at 18 rand and 27 cents against the dollar in early sessions, the rand was 0.14% stronger than its previous close. Analysts anticipate that emerging market currencies like the rand will be influenced by the Fed's decision later in the week. Additionally, local investors are monitoring South Africa's June trade and budget balance data set to be released soon. Recent data from the South African Reserve Bank revealed a 4.19% 4, 4 growth in June M3 supply and money supply rather and a 4.27 credit growth year on year. Investment analyst Antonio Sanantori from, Cap from Cartesian Capital provides valuable insights on the current market trends. Investors are likely to remain cautious ahead of the monetary policy decisions from the Fed, the Bank of England and the, and the Bank of Japan later this week. Many anticipate that Fed Chair Jerome Powell might signal plans to start the rate-cutting cycle in September, and interest rate markets in the U.S. are now pricing in four consecutive 25 basis point rate cuts starting in September, uh, with a 100% probability assigned to this. Additionally, the U.S. will be releasing non-farm payrolls on Friday, which could indicate further weakness in the labor market and support a rate-cut decision. What might lead to RAND weakness in the shorter term is that the Fed is likely going to maintain its interest rates at their meeting on Wednesday this week. But the globe is starting the process of cutting interest rates. You know, Europe has already started cutting. And provided we get economic growth and political stability out of the GNU on the South African front, we might find foreigners coming back into South Africa to take advantage of the high yields in our fixed income markets. And that would be supportive of the RAND.